Hello everybody, welcome back to the video. I'm Blue Love Gaming here and today we're playing some more Cook Your Own Kingdom. So first things actually, so I do love this, um, but I was way, way, way too high level for this. This was a cool thing. So Golden Age of Trade. Trade goods by sea, railroad, or birds and build your own trade empire. So this sounded super cool. I'm like, wait, what? That, that's awesome. This sounds like so much fun. I'm sure it'll take a while. Um. No, so you need 2,500 points to get the final award. I have nearly 45,000. Um, so if you look at the points thing, I didn't actually- Here's the sad thing, I didn't even get to look at this, because I did a couple Tree of Wishes, and I was already at like 10,000 points. So, they might have needed to make this a bit harder. Because if you look at, like, how much you need points you get from some of these, you need 2,500 in total. Uh, five, con candy. These- If I gave two of the pillows, that would have been the entire thing. Some of these items are like four of these. Was this meant to be 25,000? Because honestly, even if it was meant to be 25,000, I don't understand. Because a lot of these items, one of them gives you everything. This like weird cupcake thing and above, all of them give you all of the rewards instantly. I'm not complaining about the rewards, but what was the point of this? This was so easy. Unless you were literally beginning of the game and just dealing with wood, this was a joke. Because axes, axes even give you five. You're giving away, like, 15 axes. That's... Actually, that's not that many points. But my point is, this is also a seven-day event. They could have made this easier. I'm not even going to grab the stamina jelly, because I don't think we'll need it yet. Um, But, I mean, okay, cool, I guess. Uh, we did get... It was a new arena season, so you might have noticed we have a lot of gems. Um, yeah, it's going to be doing some wish trees. They gave you a lot of horns now, which is nice, because the quests... We're taking a long time. I did have to do some of these, by the way, the Tower of Sweet Chaos, because I didn't want to max it on keys, so I'll probably spend those extra five later. Uh, but we do have 233 of these, so we can actually do four of the Fig Cookie's Lucky Game. Will we get Fig Cookie? Probably not, but you know what? Worth a shot. Uh, my gems, by the way, I'm probably going to go ahead and save. Dang it! I think you have to do a one early for it to be Fig Cookie. Um... But I'm going to save my gems for when the new cookie comes out in the future, because I feel like it will at some point. No? I thought whenever you click, that's what you got. Maybe- I thought there was a delay, maybe not. <sighs> Soul Stone. I had so many chances to get that thing. I know there is strategy to this, it's more than just luck. But I- I'm not very good at this. Another Soul Stone? Okay, I mean, I guess not horrible. Uh, except we're out of these draws now, which sucks a little bit. So you know what? As I was, don't crash. Okay, as I was saying, let's head to the Tower of Sweet Chaos. So we can probably do a lot of these today. Uh, probably up to the next treasure chest, which I feel like I skipped. Or is forty after the next treasure? Or forty? Is forty one the next treasure chest? Really? If it is, cool. Yeah, we're probably making it all the way up to there. So that's good to know. Uh, let's get started though. Um, this team should be good. Hope you guys are having a good day, by the way. My day's been pretty okay. I'm a bit sore, but other than that, pretty good. Uh, sore arms, mostly, but that's not that big of a deal. Not a bad thing. Uh, but overall, I hope you guys are having a good day. It's Thursday. It feels so, so much like a Friday. Maybe that's just me, but I want it to be Friday. Uh, it's Victoria Day weekend. I don't know in how many places that's celebrated, but Victoria Day weekend is this weekend, so... For whoever celebrates that, it's a long weekend, which is cool. Um, I, I think it's a year... I, I want to say it's a Euro, European-ish holiday, but I don't know. I think quite a few places celebrate it. This is an awesome boss. Cake Burris, really? I can't wait to do this. This just this guy looks so cool. Cake Burris. The demon beast fire tail multiple head thing. I love this boss. Uh, every time I play this update, I'm just- Oh, I love this update so much more. Each time I play it, just like it even more. Uh, but we're actually going to be finishing off the story today, which is a little sad, I'm not going to lie. I was kind of hoping there would be a bit more. And in fact, we're getting pretty close to getting all of the rewards and being almost halfway done. Uh, which, considering there's like 50 days of this thing- Oh, not 50, I think it's like 30, but still. Uh, that's pretty good, that's pretty fast. I have a feeling we're going to end up finishing this quite quickly, unless they increase it. Support cookie lim- Ah, uh, you can't have support cookies? Fine, Herb, your turn. Take- take pomegranate grease, please. Whatever, I mean, what can you do? I'll change up my team if I need to. If you really must insist, I'll do it. Uh, 
thing that I have to admit though is all of this stuff, the red velvet cake tower or whatever, makes me really want red velvet cake or cupcakes. I don't know why. I mean, obviously I could get red velvet cake and cupcakes. It's not that hard of a thing to do. I could make them, I could get them. But I also don't really feel like buying them because I don't think I actually want them. But I also very much so have a craving for them. Do you ever feel that way where like, I mean, I kind of want this thing, but at the same time, I feel like if I actually got it, I wouldn't eat it. Maybe that's just me. That happens to me so much. I'm like, you know what? I kind of want this thing. It's usually dessert, and I'm like, but you know what? I probably won't actually eat it, because that's... I don't know. I want, like, a bite of it, not the full thing. I feel like it happens to me a lot with a lot of desserts. Because dessert portions are pretty big most of the time, especially when I'm talking about, you know, a cake. Uh, cupcakes are obviously better, but even cupcakes can get pretty massive, especially if you're buying them and not making them. And if you're making them, you have to make a lot, so... It's pretty hard to actually get small portions of dessert. Which, I mean, I guess desserts are usually meant for like a celebration. Like, oh, well, I'll make some so-and-so insert dessert here for everybody. So I guess that is sort of the point, but still interesting nonetheless. Um, but yeah. I'm honestly, I'm a little disappointed that we're going to be done the story so fast. I have liked it. Uh, it's been a little... I don't know. It was a little too simple. There won't really have any surprises. I mean, it was cool to hear that the witches were who made Dark Enchantress Cookie and all that stuff, but it was still a little disappointing, I'm not gonna lie. Um, because there just wasn't a ton of, I don't know, anticipation? There wasn't a ton of, uh, like, it wasn't really a cliffhanger, it was just, oh, cool, so I guess this is happening now. Cool. There wasn't some special big reveal or cliffhanger or point where, like, oh, I can't imagine what's gonna happen next. They just... They just told us all the story. Especially since, although probably not easily, you can probably do most of this before you actually beat episode 8. Um, obviously this came out way after episode 8, but if you can get to the story cues before episode 8 is done, uh, it's a little lame because it kind of ruins episode 8. The whole thing is oh, it's sort of like, is she, isn't she, all that stuff. Lots of theory gets your brain thinking, hmm, I wonder what it could be, what it could mean. There's some deeper meaning. And then, nope, if you already played the cake or the Tower of Sweet Chaos, then yeah, no. Though I really hope this is prominent, because that's the one thing. This seems... Maybe it's just going to, like, reset the tower. That's probably what it's going to do. But if this is temporary, then can you imagine if you miss all the story? Though I guess... I don't know, that's something a lot with this game. I'm glad I was here from the beginning, I suppose, because you miss so much stuff. I mean, not only do you have to literally play constantly if you want any hope of keeping up with the updates, also, I kind of like that spider dude, he's cool, the sugar spider. Um, so one thing I did just realize, the brown sugar stuff in this game, first of all, the white sugar is like a marbly crystal, almost like purple and blue. Um, and the brown sugar isn't brown, it's more of like yellow, it's like a yellowish, yellowish gold sort of, it's really not brown. I just noticed that the other day when I was fighting the brown sugar golem, grinding out for some... Um, pom not pomegranate, I wish pomegranate, uh, chili pepper soul stones in dark mode. I'm like, wait a sec, the brown sugar stuff's like yellow, which I would say is how it is in real life, but it's really not. Goldenish, maybe, but it really is more of like a caramelly brown color in real life, at least in my opinion. Maybe you guys have different opinions of brown sugar, or maybe you don't care about my opinions of brown sugar and have no opinions of brown sugar. I mean, to be fair, we are playing a game about cookie. Sugar is important. It's one of the main ingredients with cookie, up there with flour. I mean, you could say milk and things, but there are so many different kinds of cookies. The only real staple is, well, to be honest, is, is wheat even a staple? Flour? I don't know. I don't think there's any staple of cookie. I doubt there's a single ingredient of cookie that is made in all cookie recipes. Like, even if you're a little iffy on the definitions of cookie, there are vegan cookies that don't use milk or egg. There is, or butter. Um... There's sugar-free cookies, which I, I don't think I've ever had because, personally, um, that sounds pretty gross. I'm not saying, unless it's, if it's only artificial sugar, fine. You can have, like, I don't know, raisin cookies. Those aren't horrible. Pomegranate, like, orange-type cookies. Those can be pretty good. So I understand, obviously, lots of cookies in this game are fruit-based. Um, if you want to have a natural sugar cookie, fine. But a no sugar whatsoever, that sounds... That sounds wrong to me. You can't have something that has no sugar. It's not a thing you're meant to be. That's why natural sugar is a thing. Nature has sugar in it. Sugar equals energy. 
So, I don't know. That was a long tangent about how I don't think you should make no sugar cookies. I mean, you can do whatever you want. I don't really care. As long as you don't make me eat them, I don't care. Also, why are you saying average chance of winning? You might be able to win when I'm still nearly double the power level and at least 70, 000, 70 like something thousand points stronger. Is this really still up for debate on whether or not I can beat this stage? Because I really don't think it should be. At all. Uh, anyways, what can you do? The game's always like, hey, you seem powerful. Um, do you want to fight this dude that's ten times stronger than you? But it's impossible. Do you want to fight this dude that's one percent stronger than you? It might be possible. Maybe. Unlikely. I love how games do that. They're like, okay, you want this dude one percent stronger than you. Odds are, insane difficulty. Okay, you're one percent stronger than this dude. Hard difficulty. Uh, I don't know. I guess we have to pick another tower. Maybe we'll go back now and grab the keys and destroy, because we can only do a few more right now. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Take a bit of a break where we do the last bit of story, and then we can come back and do the rest of these. And by rest, I mean three more or two more? Three more. I think three more. I didn't mean to press that. I'm so bad with that. Okay. First, I'm going to collect all the different rewards, because, of course, the final story piece. What will it be? I hope it's not boring. I hope it's interesting and amazing. What's gonna happen? Reverend Mother Cookie. My child, you are back so soon. Uh, is this evil or good? I think it's good, because there's no, like, weird eye things, but that could be just artist. I don't know. Reverend Mother, tell me of your findings. I saw the taint and corruption afflicting the cake tower and couldn't do anything. I repent. In that place, I saw an numerous horde of cake monsters who told me that they deserve only the final judgment, but the monsters could talk and and had feelings just like us. Moreover, a dreadful glimpse of the witches was revealed to me. The godly creators ate cookies like us. I I can't get myself to pray anymore. Even a holy fort cannot help me against these memories. Poor child. My dear child, a true believer will always faint at some moment of doubt. But wisdom will help you overcome such incidents. No, not incidents. I bet you you're an evil witch in disguise and your plan is to eat her. Okay, probably not. But I mean, you're still evil because you're telling her to believe in witch eaters. Witch cookie eaters. Don't believe in cookie eaters, okay? That's, I don't know. The witches are bad. Cool, well, don't, don't believe in witches. And as long as, I don't know. Forget about that. That doesn't matter. I don't know what I was trying to say there. It may be difficult, but time indeed can heal the worst wounds on our sores. Yes, yes. Ah, I must remind you, sometimes, secrets must remain unspoken. For the order of this world, you understand me, yes? Pure evil, pure evil. You just want more people to join your cult. Is this a cult? Religion? Cult? I mean, there's no technical religion here, so I'm gonna call it a cult. Because it sounds more fun and creepy and evil. Yes, mother. Such an obedient child. A secret between you and me. Yes. Forever. That sounds so creepy and evil, really? And holy fork that can ease your memories? Yeah, that sounds like a little bit of amnesia to me. Although I see a fork in the background that's literally glowing, so I don't know. Maybe it's a magic fork? Whatever. Shadow Sister Cookie. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Is that all? You are too merciful. Command me and I will silence her forever. Heh <laughs> There's nothing to worry about. Pastry Cookie is a very loyal student. Evil. Pure evil. Pure evil. I knew it. They're all evil. This cult of cookies is evil. Don't trust the cult of cookies. One day, she too will become a stalwart protector of our secrets. Just like each of us. They knew. Until then, we shall guard the secrets of the tower. They knew the full time. Evil. 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 So I was right the full time to challenge them. I was like, I don't like you. You seem like the real bad guys. Turns out I was right the entire time. They're pure evil. Uh, hashtag dark and changes cookies. The good guy. Girl. Girl. Guy. Girl. I'm pretty sure it's a girl. Honestly, I have no clue at this point. Bad guy. Uh, red velvet is good. I don't know. The pastry people are bad, the red velvet people, and the cake monsters, those are the good guys. Which, to be perfectly honest, probably more on the side of cake than cookies. Maybe that's just me, but I feel like I might be more towards cake than cookies. 
We get okay, so let's do a few more. Which one do we want to do? The rewards are identical. This one's easier. Uh, both don't let me have a charge cookie. That's the only difference. Well, sorry, Dark Chakra. Oh, wait, what? Oh, this one has a ma- oh, Okay, then never mind. I'm doing this one, because this one doesn't have a magic cookie limit. Uh, this one has support, so I'm going to put you in. And then we can't have a charge. So, Mill Cookie, right? What level are you? You're only at 15. So, yeah. Even though you're three stars high, Mill Cookie is probably still the best choice. Mill Cookie to the rescue! See, I like this, because I get to use different types of cookies. It's nice. Though I'm getting a little nervous as I see the power levels creep up that uh, we probably aren't actually strong enough to do all of these stages. I'm not confident that we'd be capable of beating um, all 94s, so that's not great. We should at least be able to do the first 50, which are all the ones that have the temporary reward things. But I'm not sure we're going to be able to do all of them, which I don't love the idea of. But I mean, we'll try as many as we can do. If we reach a wall, that'll suck, but what can you do? Also, why is the dessert in the background huge? Are they not just the exact same thing as, like, the cake monsters? Like, that eyeball is massive. Maybe it's a candy eyeball. Have you ever had one of those on Halloween? I never ate them. I got them sometimes. They're weird. They're, like... Because, th I mean, I'm sure they're just, like, a gelatin or something. But they look so gross. And the eyeball is, like... It's almost, like, 3D. It's not, like, a flat print or image or whatever. The eyeballs, like, the eye itself, like, the colored part... What's that called? The retina? I think that's the retina. Uh, it, like, stands out and pops out. It's so freaky. I refuse to eat those. Um, honestly, I just don't like that whatever you do, you always seem to end up with, um... What is it? Oh, no... Ch oh, this still has the charge cookie limit? Really? Fine. I guess, milk cookie, you're going back in. Kua, woohoo! Where's milk cookie? What? Oh, he's back here. Uh, whatever. When will you let me use charge go- Oh, 150,000 power. Okay, this might be a little bit harder than I thought. Uh, we still should be good. But this is not good. I was not expecting it to get difficult this fast. They just have all these restrictions. Only one magic. No charge cookie. I can't do that. That's my team. My team has both of those. When you mess my team by two, that makes it a little bit worse. Uh, we should still be fine. But I mean, I don't like it. Those restrictions can be deadly. Though I guess, as I was just saying, it's probably better that um, the restrictions that actually affect me negatively happen earlier when it's easier. I mean, I'm sure they'll repeat themselves eventually, but it doesn't seem that likely. Maybe they will. Who knows? I would say you guys could tell me, but I don't think any of you, once again, unless you spent a lot of money or actually beaten the tower. Maybe you have. But I guess if you were like a game tester or something, that would be cool. I've never been a game tester. If any of you have, what happens? Do you get like early access or something? I don't know. That sounds like a cool job. I just know whenever people are like, oh, you want to do something in video games? That job? Well, you have to be a game tester then. Obviously not true. Look at this. Look at what I'm doing right now. There's thousands of other jobs um, involving video games, obviously. But... I remember whenever people said, oh, you video game job, game tester. Was that just me? Was I literally the only one that heard people say that? No magic cookies now. Are you kidding me? What am I going to do? Uh, and no charge cookies still. Uh, where is a charge cookie? Um, um, uh, Tiger Lily. I guess, oh, we're so doomed. We are so doomed. What do I do here? You're ruining my team chapter. I don't think I can beat this. Like, to be perfectly honest, I just don't see myself winning this. I guess we'll choose this defense one. Like, seriously, I'm not allowed to use three of the members on my team. I have all these substitutes, but they're not good. I don't like this. Oh, no, we can't have a charge cookie. We can't have any magic. Uh, we could use dark Choco. Well, if we lose this, then we wasted keys and uh, horrible evilness. I really hope we win this. I mean, if you look at my team, uh, it's not exactly like we're gonna die. We have Milk Cookie and two healers, and then we have like two fairly, well, not Tigerly, but Pastry Cookie seems to have a lot of health. Hopefully we can win this. Hopefully we can just heal them to heal our way to victory. That's the solution. Heal, heal, heal. Which I guess to be fair, if we can heal the boss, like if we can heal faster than we take damage, 
Uh, there is a time limit, but we have a lot of time. It's not like we won't be able to kill the boss in two minutes. That would be ridiculous. Though I don't like all these stunts. That, I'm not gonna lie. I don't like those. Can we stun him? No. No, but I will. Really he was at least saved. Yeah, I'm not dying. So, we should be able to win this. I do now realize, by the way, in case you already commented it feel free to delete that comment then i'm sure i'll see it anyways but i know i could have used a charge cookie but it looks like we should still be good which is good as i would not have liked to waste keys i just have to remember to change my team before i go back into this because this isn't exactly a good team uh it, it has some issues at least i still have some cookies that are usable it's not like i'm using level 20s or something which if i was i probably would have just leveled up honestly if i really thought i couldn't have beaten this I would have tried again, I wouldn't have just kept going, that would have been stupid, waste of keys. Uh, but no. We were luckily enough to beat it, so that's good. I think we can do one more, maybe? Do we have enough keys for one more? I have no idea. We'll find out. I think the next is the treasure chest though, right? Pretty sure 41's treasure chest, am I correct? We shall see... Is it treasure chest next? Come on, let me know, tell me. Uh, it is, so we definitely can't afford those, we have one key. Okay, so what pastry cookie sauce is not that good. But this gives oh this is totally worth it. Six more keys, I know, but under thousand gold, that's a lot, but it's not a ton. Five hundred more gems, pastry cookie sauce stone is whatever. Um, but you do get a searing strawberry epic and five more cookie cutters, that's definitely the better option. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna end off today with, because it feels like it's been a fairly long video, uh, we're doing some gotcha draws. So I'm going to save the featured, as I said, but we have a lot of normal cookie draws and some treasures, and we now have enough guild stuff to do a 10 draw there. So we're doing all those. I now realize this is probably actually going to be a long video. Cool epic, I suppose. Um, but I think that's what we're going to do to end off today. And then next time, uh, we might do a theorizing dark, dark mode video. That's probably what's going to be next. Anyways, we have eight cookie cutter draws. These are going to take a while. So I'm going to skip them. Cause I don't really like waiting forever. I don't care that much, but we do have other things to do. Oh, I love that. 300 mileage points. Yes, let's go. My decision, by the way, for mileage points is I think I'm just going to dump them all into Licorice because he is the only cookie that I don't see myself ever removing from my team. Maybe Pomeranian cookie, but he's just, he's good in so many ways. Hey, we pulled an epic almond cookie. Pretty good. Um, but I just don't see myself removing him ever. So I don't think, I think I'm just going to put all of them into him. Also, I pulled so many almond cookies, like so, so many. I don't know how many exactly, but I want to say it's been like five. I have never invested mileage points into him, I just get him so much. Anyways, before we're done, it is time for the guild gotcha dendro, come on. Cream puff, cream puff, cream puff, cream puff. I know I'll need still, still need fig cookie, but that'll happen from time to time. Cream puff is the only real thing stopping me from getting all the cookies. I also want the treasure, but I mostly want the cookie. Please. Please, Gil gotcha. Epic, come on, come on. No. Come on, come on. Give me something good, please. I'm not gonna get either of them, am I? One more chance? No. No. Yeah, the, I, I, I'm not gonna lie, though. It's like the perfect animation. It's literally the flame, like, whimpering is what you get when you get a common item. Uh, that's pretty fair with it. It's like, um, sorry, we didn't give you anything. Also, how much does this remind you of the Goblet of Fire from the Harry Potter movies? That's not just me, right? This is totally, yeah. 0.3% <sighs> chance I never get you. And even the Cream Puff Cookie Soul Stones are so, so long. One day I'll get you a Cream Puff Cookie. One day you will be mine. Anyways, we learned quite a bit today. Uh, we learned that the Cookie Cult, the Pastry Cult, is pure evil. The Red Velvet Creatures are cool. Um, Pastry Cookie may or may not get assassinated. Uh, I kind of hope she doesn't, because she seems a little bit better now that she knows everything. Uh, she seems just like she's just getting mind controlled by the evil cult, like a lot of people. Um, but anyways, honestly, I still had a lot of fun. That was a good- see, that's exactly what I wanted. I wanted, like, a cliffhanger-ish ending. That's what I wanted. Um, but yeah, so you know what? Please consider giving the video a like if you enjoyed. Subscribing, join the Purple Elephant Squad. It makes my date super nice, and I really do appreciate it. Hope you have a wonderful day. Um, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye!